TV pro um, programs on Ask Huda. Uh, one is the uh, correct your recitation, and the other one is, as Brother mentioned, the question and answer. Um, and mashallah, he uh, has a BA in pharmacology and assistant professor in pharmacology. So, mashallah, we've been blessed with, uh, with his presence today and the other shift. Um, I just want to start the question answers with a question from me, and then inshallah we'll, we'll uh, take other questions. One of the commonest things we see is um, brothers and sisters that, that don't pray. And that may be no prayers, or it may be not getting up for Fajr or whatever. What would be your advice, and how, how would we deal with those brothers and sisters? Um, The only ibadah in which the nusus came very straightforward with regards to the disbelief of a person who does not offer it regularly is the salah. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam One who abandons the prayer has disbelieved in the name of Muhammad This is not from my pocket. This is the hadith of the Prophet The Quran says, The Quran About this nation who used to waste their prayer, not by not praying entirely, rather by postponing the prayer, not praying on time, skipping some prayers. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said the punishment will be a valley in hell, ghayya. In Surah Al Ma'un, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Woe to those who pray. What kind of prayer? Those who are negligent of their prayers, they don't pray on time. Some people think that it is sufficient to combine the five daily prayers in the evening. Okay, I prayed. It's like you're doing Allah a favor. La. If you're doing anyone a favor, you're only doing yourself. And Allah is doing you the greatest favor by guiding you to the straight path. So let me tell you one thing. Those who do not pray are the furthest from happiness and the closest to the station, richness, and suffering. They have the most miserable life. That's a fact. That's a fact. Why? Because they become friends with the shaitan. Angels do not enter the house. They cannot get the help nor the support of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah is angry with them. Look at Ikhwan. You can look at the five pillars of the deen. One of them is verbal, and by the heart, the shahada. So we're talking about four pillars, صح? four practical pillars. Salah wa zakah wa siyam wa What happens if you're poor? Khalas, you drop the zakah, and you also drop hajj. So how many pillars remain? Two. Two. Salah and siyam. If you are a chronic patient with hypertension, hypertension, or renal failure, God forbid, or anything that stops you from fasting permanently, halas, no fasting too, you can just give the answer in a state. So, would you please tell me how many ibadah left in this deen? One. No one is exempt from this ibadah under any circumstances except one person. Who knows? Huh? Women during their menses. So if you're not praying, you're either with them or with the disbelievers. This is uh, the statement of the Prophet sallallahu Another thing, does anyone know when, where, and how will he or she die? Uh, I have seen a video of someone mutual, a Muslim sheikh, was giving a speech on a wedding in the masjid. He was talking about the wedding, marriage. 
Then he will still get and say, Qala Rasulullah. Then he filled it. Right in the middle of the speech. The thing is, what will be the very, very first question 